In case you haven't noticed, light bulbs are changing, really changing. There are a lot more of these on the shelves, LEDs, which stands for light emitting diodes. They're more expensive than a traditional incandescent bulb, but they last up to 25 times longer and use only a fraction of the energy to put out the same amount of light. They're also cooler, literally. They give off 50% less heat than a traditional bulb. So a quick recommendation, replace your four or five top usage incandescents with LEDs and then replace your other incandescents as they burn out. Overall, lighting is not a big part of your electric bill, so there's no need to spend $300 on new lighting with the expectation that your electric bill is going to be cut in half. That's just not going to happen. Changing channels a bit, let's talk TVs. Most people have TV remotes. Well, believe it or not, even when your TV is off, a little part of your TV is still on, waiting for a signal from the remote. That little part uses electricity, Same with lots of other devices that have remotes. Stereos, game consoles, ceiling fans, any device that has a little light that stays on in standby mode. Look around your home at all the small devices that never totally turn off. The trickle of energy these devices use combine to account for 10% of your electric bill. There's a name for this combination of small devices that together use electricity when you think you're using none. It's called a phantom load or vampire load, and it's a growing problem as more and more people buy more and more electronics that refuse to turn off. To reduce your phantom load, unplug chargers and TVs and stereos when you're not using them. Same with coffee makers and microwaves and other products that have clocks on them. If you have an entire entertainment center in one area, make it easy on yourself and plug these electronics into a power strip. You can shut it all off for real with just one switch and make your phantom load a bit less scary. One more thing, video game systems. Did you know over 40% of US homes have at least one video game console? And if you add up all the power that all these systems use in a year, it's roughly equivalent to the amount of electricity used by the city of San Diego. A lot of the big names in the industry are working to improve the efficiency of their video game systems. But until then, we're encouraging you to power down your video game systems when you're not using them. If you don't have a JEA.com online account, you'll want to set one up. Why? Because that gets you access to a free online utility tracker that's sort of like a video game, but not really. You can monitor your usage at a glance. The tracker will give you near real-time information on how much electricity and water you're using. It's a great tool, and it's free, so you really should be taking advantage of it.